Well, you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and joining us now is MJ Jenkins, who is a breast cancer survivor and author of the book Think No Pink. So, MJ, good morning. Good morning. Real quick, who is this? A little Coco adorable is puppy. with us to say <laughs> Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> she is adorable. Coco Chanel, you said her yes, name was. Yes, Coco Chanel. All right, what well. else, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Let's jump right in. Tell us about Think No Pink. You know, as a breast cancer survivor and a representative of the American Cancer Society, we say one in eight women will develop breast cancer in the course of your lifetime. Well, I am one of those eight women, and with the help of Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon, today I am cancer free. Wow. I'm in the beautiful studio with you. <laughs> Happy to be alive. Yeah. And I wrote the book Think No Pink because think is just really a frame of mind. Your thoughts, your words, your actions will either help you survive or they'll kill you. And so with that in mind, there's three huge mistakes that women make with breast cancer that I really want to promote during October. The first is not having an early and frequent breast cancer screening. Mm -hmm. If I had not developed and went to my mammogram as early as I did and, de and detected my breast cancer, today I would be dead. Wow. And you need to go in for early, frequent breast cancer screenings. Women make that mistake. The second is having cancer-causing foods in your diet. You'd be shocked. I was shocked with the <laughs> kind of foods that cause cancer. Microwave popcorn, potato wow. chips, and, and uh, wine and beer on the Broncos game. Too much of it on the weekend. Guilty, guilty. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, don't put your midsection to bulk up. The third huge mistake is allowing your midsection to bulk up. And it has been proven that women who let their midsections bulk up are more likely to develop cancer than women who lead fit and healthy lifestyles. Okay. And that's why you know, I have a BFF formula in my book. It's believe you will survive, mind over matter, only positive thoughts and words out of your mouth. Feed your body good foods, avoid those cancer-causing mm -hmm. foods, eat organic vegetables and get the pesticides out of your diet, things like that. I have a whole list of them. Mm -hmm. And also feed your mind and your soul good thoughts. And with Coco, she was there with me every step of the way. <laughs> she is my BFF for breast yeah. cancer because they say pets will reduce your stress and lower your heart rate and also sit in your bed when you're in healing position, right? <laughs> and of course, I also, in my BFF formula, with women who have breast cancer, you have a new lease on life. You have the freedom. So BFF formula ends with freedom to recreate your life the way you want it. Join me in the Denver Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk for the American Cancer Society, October 11th. Come down to Village Center and join me for three miles or less and walk with Coco <laughs> and get fit and healthy and lead a healthy life. And think no pink. Yeah, think no pink. I like that. But Coco might be carried, I'm guessing, for some of the We're going to have to carry her. She barely <laughs> walks, but she's not oh. the one that needs to have reduced fat around your yeah, midsection. Right. All right. Well, MJ, <laughs> thanks so much for being on the show. Your personality is so infectious. Oh. I can't wait to check this out. Think uh, no pink. Recommended to every female I know. It's about